Okay, y'all. So this situation is unfortunate in the fact that um, the customer has the the vehicle's locked. Okay. The wheels are turned, right? And um, if you listen to all those TikToks and all all those uh, people on YouTube, if those wheels are turned, right? And you got your doors locked and all that, they can't tow it. No. Maybe if you're talking about uh, somebody who's wet behind the ears, but um, you know, the, the tow ops that actually know what they're doing out here, we invite these types of challenges. In all honesty, um, I'm always curious to see, uh, see how well I can do things. So you know, even when this don't pay you for it, guys, because a lot of times you're going to have like a, it's going to be like a, um, like an insurance call or something and it's already pre-negotiated and you can't do add-ons. Even if you can't get paid for it, y'all, it's always super beneficial to do this because you're going to save yourself in the long run damage problems. I don't, um, I don't enjoy giving any of my checks up for torn up property. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I won't. It's just not something I uh, I do. So um, I'm not saying I've never ever done it, but I work really hard at making sure that my customers' vehicles and are always taken care of the way that I would want my stuff to be taken care of. And I have found. All right, y'all look. There's my hole, double slotted. Okay. The reason I like to go behind the tires on me. Well, so when I first started this. I was pulling one one day and I was actually from the, I was, it was facing, rear facing just like this except for I had it hooked in the front ones and when I did that, it was doing a bunch of weird stuff. Uh, started, uh, started coming up the truck weird at a funny angle. So I, uh, we're gonna show y'all this one too. See it, double slotted, boom, all right. Long story short, y'all. Uh, crap. Let me get this back on. I uh, do my best not to tear nobody's stuff up, you know? It's extremely important to um, make sure that when they get their vehicle back, that there's nothing that's tore up because you towed it, you know? Um, does, this, does this hurt? Does this hurt my day? Yeah, I mean, it's going to slow me up. It's absolutely going to slow me up and having to do all this, but it's worth it if you're, uh, if you're not wanting to pay nothing out in damages, y'all, and I just don't want to do it. Um, typically, I'm going to be honest, y'all, I do actually like to get my tire, the blade of my bed all the way to that tire. It keeps you from having to do this part, but um, when I first, my first time ever doing one of these, well, not my first time, but I'd say probably my first four or five times, I would set up a little bit away from the car like this and then uh, drag, I gotta get my skates, and then I would drag it to the, uh, to the bed. <clears throat> and then take the snatch block off and then start working on getting it to come up. Um, more recently I have gotten a little bit better recently I've gotten better at getting closer with my truck which allows uh oh Papa's old hammer broke man I'm gonna have to get another oh man I'm gonna have to that's my great grandpa's It'll be all right, I'll get it fixed. I probably shouldn't be using that out here. But it's darn good for knocking skates in. I got another one though. Um, so yeah, you know, at the end of the day, these little things that you do extra to ensure that the cars aren't getting tore up are gonna make it to where you get to bring more of your money home to your family instead of uh you know paying it out to damages that you get to somebody's car because you know you don't people don't want to take five minutes and i have uh 
had so many mechanics tell me about dragging vehicles that when you hear so many people say the same thing over and over, you just at some point in time I've just learned it's best just to listen for me. I just like I said I don't I don't enjoy paying my any of my checks out to uh damages. All right, so what my goal here is just to get those back tires or one of those back tires really up on the bed like that. And then once it gets about to where that tire, the way I kind of judge it is because I know the winch is going to pull straight, right? So now that I got it there, okay. All right. Now I'm gonna lift my bed. Nope, you know what? We'll come here. Just once, and then I'll do the bed lift. All right, now I'm gonna lift my bed and do a pivot. And then that pivot's gonna set me up to where my bed blade is gonna be underneath both tires, right? So right now, because of the way that it's positioned, I just need to do a quick pivot. We'll go straight out. Guys, I know it seems like a lot of work, and it is, right? But for me, at the end of the day, ensuring my customers' vehicles are being taken care of uh, it's priceless to know that I'll be able to um, guarantee these people the services that I would expect from my own vehicle. You know, I just, uh, I much prefer, and notice, man, I'm not putting it no more on the truck than that, y'all. And the reason why is because of the uh, sliding off. You know, I don't want to have to, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle. It's already going to be a pain in the butt. Dealership or wherever it's going is going to be like, what do you mean you ain't got no keys? You know, for every time you tell a dealership you ain't got no keys, the look on their face. And I don't blame them. <laughs> I don't blame them. They're like, how am I going to work on it when it's locked? I get it, bud. I get it. You know, I towed it. I towed it, I know. I went through the same thing, brother. Same. Yep. All right. Crank on this bad boy. But yeah, so... There we go. Come on. I gotta get my skates out, because one time I left them underneath the tires, thinking it was gonna be okay. And uh, they weren't, they were not okay. At all, you know what? All that bending ain't gonna do it. I ain't doing it. Come on with it. Yeah, one time I left them uh, underneath this, a car, tire, and what ended up happening is they uh, fell. Well, one of them ended up popping out while I was going down the road and I lost it. And God knows that thing could have hit somebody's car. So I've learned to pull them off every time. You're gonna have to take them out anyways and put them back in the other side when you get there. So I typically don't like strapping like this, y'all, but we are going to, um, we gotta get this one down the road. And it will. This will hold it still, I'm 100% sure. 
it's not the recommended way for these straps to be used and I know that 100% know that but um, this isn't a, a recommended situation to be in either now is it you know Wish that you know I could tell you that you're gonna get out there and you're gonna get have keys your 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 car's gonna go in neutral every time you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to turn the wheel I wish I could promise y'all that but unfortunately I just can't and since I can't do that what I can do is show y'all the things that I do to get around it and I do know there are other ways, you know. I would like to learn all the different ways to put things in neutral from outside the car, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of crawling up underneath the car. Um, me as a tow truck driver, uh, that's just more, you know, going and popping neutral things with the cable and stuff. That's, to me, that's a bit much to be doing to be a t uh, for a tow truck driver, in my opinion. I mean, look, if that's, if it's a big old, like, huge chuck or something yeah that's a little bit different y'all you know if it's a huge chuck on a winch out or something yeah i can understand i can understand trying to get um the resistances to decrease a little bit i understand you know getting them wheels rolling man i totally get it you know when it comes to those when it comes to resistances when they're not rolling uh that is that is a uh, a lot more than what it will be whenever it's not, and I know that. And I've had them, look guys, I've been on winch outs so heavy, I've had them dragging my truck straight into the hole where the casualty was, man. And I've had to start figuring out ways to get my truck to sit still, blocks under the tires, digging my, bait, my blade into the ground, you know? Dig your blade into the ground to keep it from moving. Um, I, I've got pictures of me, and I got in trouble for this, but I got pictures of me with it. The front of my truck chained to a tree and I was pulling the guy out from the rear doubled doubled up on my cable because he was so heavy full of water it was a chemical truck anyways guys if y'all haven't already smash that like button comment down below on what you would have done and um, I appreciate y'all watching subscribe if you haven't all right y'all so um I was, there was a phone call that I had to take so there's two straps on the other side that I already took off. In the loading video, you'll see that all the straps were on the truck. It was on the vehicle. It was had uh, all four all the way around. Um, so basically, now when these happen and you're unloading, one thing I've come to realize is unloading. How you can kind of judge where you like. Let's say you're trying to trying to get a little bit better at it right and you're trying to get it to where cars are a little bit looking even right so here my goal is going to be to try to get that front end you know kind of close with the, with this here so with that and now when they don't roll everything's different right uh it's not going to roll off so Um, you know, and, and look, when you get out there and you hear them say, hey, you know, I don't have the keys or whatever, just go ahead and, unless it's lock, unlocked, you know, there's going to be a, there's consequences when you do lockouts, right? So, look, when I do a lockout, as, as good as, and I am going to be 100% honest with y'all, I've never been to one that I couldn't get in, okay? Uh, every lockout that I've ever gone to, I was able to get in, right? So with that being said, I've gotten out there and uh, almost on every one, man, there's going to be at least some type of small scratch in that door frame, right? Just notice y'all left this strap on. That's because I was walking in front of the vehicle. All right, so um, whenever you, uh, got to get my hand, what I was using for a hammer, whenever, because my hammer broke, whenever you, um, Oh, 
are sliding these things off. The way that you're going to want to try to make sure of how it's going to land whenever, or like where it's going to sit when you're done, is the bed of your blade. All right, so the blade of your bed, right? And if you walk out from underneath it, the blade of your bed will be technically about, see, I need to come back some, right? Because it's not going to be. Um, well, let's see. We might get a little close. Let's go take a look and see what that looks like. You know what? I'm going to give that a shot, y'all, just because I've spent so much time on this toe already. It's Now, so look, before I go to start doing anything, you'll notice I am going to do the flatten it out, uh, steep in my bed. This has always been, um, what works best for me to keep from having to shake them right and so now that that's done I'll pull that skate out I'm not walking in front of it there it is hey, do this car run? no it's locked too they the ladies told me to put it here okay then okay that's cool. yep Yeah. If y'all can see what they do, they'll line another car next to them. Next minute, all these, I'll put the I'll belt. be all full? Yeah. Yes, sir. No, I looked, I looked, I promise you, I spent about 15 minutes looking for a spot no, first. I tried to back into about three, yeah. and then um, I, I talked to the ladies in the car, in, in a golf cart, I was like, hey, um, I'm, you know, because I always want to yeah. try to get them as close as I can for y'all. Nah, and she was like, big. you could just put it beside the cop car, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it as close as possible. That's cool. As long as you, I put the, I put the bells around. I got you. I'll put it all. I'll, I'll box it in when I'm done. Yeah, I got you. That's a fucking idiot, bro. I got you, bro. I shit you not. They, they will. They will, like, that's more than a guy living space. You put that here. Them fucking guys get good cars over there. Yeah. They put next to them. They have the wrong cars. You come out through that. No bullshit. I got you, bro. I right, thank you, yep. bro. Yeah, take care of yourself. Cool. Yeah, he works here. And you know, he's, he's basically saying that tow truck drivers will come out here and just put stuff everywhere. And look, I get it, because I'm one of them, <laughs> you know? I'm one of them. I get it. All right, so now we got that, we got those front tires to where we know that they're on the ground. See how, see how I'm just kind of pushing that bed forward? Boom, right? Now I'm going to get my skates out. I'm going to, oh, you know what? I better leave. This is all-wheel drive. When they're all-wheel drive, you got to leave them skates in, because... To be able to pull out from underneath it without dragging it, it's best to leave your skate in. All right, and it is all-wheel drive. One. Whew. Oh lordy. Two. All right, let's see how well this. All right. Y'all see them tires coming off? That's what you want. Um, so now I'm gonna, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna come off at this point. All right. Now, my tires are not off the ground, y'all. Um, well, yeah, they were. I mean, look, I have, um, I have been doing the walking thing, y'all, with this truck for quite some time, and I do understand that uh, it can be hard on the bags and stuff, and I, and I do know that, and I have, look, I'm going to be honest, I've, I've had to replace bags, right, um, on my old Hino, not on this truck, but on my old Hino, um, one time I was out doing a camper call with a guy with one of our tow truck drivers, um, our senior drivers, and he was operating a truck and something happened, I can't remember. Oh, he was, when he was loading the camper, he did like a scoot technique and something happened. And when he did it, something happened and the bed didn't let the, um, the airbag seat correctly. And so I went and got back in the truck and I went to go air up and only one side of the truck aired up. I'm like, what the heck, so I go back out. And man, I, there was one of them, on one side that was all crushed he did get it back on but it did that did do something to the airbag that day because within i would say a month i had to go and get a uh i, I had to get a new airbag because of the um 
because of that. So, um, now I do not walk the truck every day. I don't. Um, I try not to walk the truck. I mean, I don't know how obvious it is, but I actually love my truck, and my truck is everything to me. I, I, it's like, it's all I ever, uh, could ever want or dream for, and, uh, for my office, for my rig, for my everything, man. I love this thing. Oh, that truck is a dream truck. So, man, I, I'm always going to do my best to take the best care of it. It's just sometimes, you know, I know that we all have our different ways of doing things. Um, sometimes it's just, we have, uh, you know, you compromise a little bit in one area so you can get something done in another. All right. I got to put this tag back on. But I got a guy sitting right here, so I'll move so he can get by. And then I'll go put this tag back on. Y'all look, if y'all haven't already, smash that like button. Comment down below on any videos y'all may want to see. Thank y'all for watching.